from Cremo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Skyrider's access specialist aims to bridge the rope access skills deficits in the artisan industry through offering training at its Madran-based facility in South Africa. Simone Lietka tells us more. The general lack of skills in the artisan industry can be traced back to poor secondary education standards as well as a lack of university and artisan development opportunities. Skyriders, however, aims to mitigate this challenge by keeping more than 330 rope access technicians trained, competent and skilled in the various artisan disciplines at its training facility, which was established in 2010. The official training centre started here in 2010. We were offering fall arrest training on the basic level, uh, rope access level one and two. Um, and, and the reason we started it was because there's definitely a need in the industry. Uh, we were using a lot of technicians and we were sending them elsewhere to get trained and that was costing us money. Um, we had some senior uh, technicians that were now sort of at the end of their rope access career and wanted to get involved in training. So it was sort of an almost an ideal set of circumstances that came together. And then in 2013 we got our current trainer, uh, Sandile, he was a senior level 3 that came off one of the sites and he had a lot of experience with regards to the bolting, the rigging and the sort of the big challenges our technicians are facing where they're given the right skills with regards to rope access but the, 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 the actual work that they're doing on site, the rigging, bolting, we need to give them that extra training just so they had a better idea of what they were doing which uh, assisted with safety and production because then the guys were properly trained in the equipment they were using and it made the, the service offering by Skyriders ten times better. And then we added a bolting and rigging facility now, which you'll see a bit later, um, just to give the guys practical experience. So you're not standing on the ground bolting, you're not physically hanging off a rope as you would in a real world rope access scenario, doing, you know, applying your trade. And since then, all of our technicians have gone through it, just about. And we have close on sort of 300 technicians on those two sites doing bolting and rigging. So it's, yeah, it just makes sense to be able to offer those services or offer the training to the guys and make sure that they stay current. Skyriders training aims to give learners the full benefits of applying high safety practices and can also provide training at a client's premises as a lot of, but not all, clients are located in foreign countries on the African continent. A lot of clients, especially most of the training we've done sort of on site has been in foreign countries on the African continent. Um, it's, it's just logistically easier for the client to send one of our trainers and equipment up to, for example, you know, Mali in West Africa, than to have 12 of their technicians with accommodation and all the logistics that go with it fly to South Africa um, and work visas and training visas and all that type of stuff. So, and how it's done is basically we just give them a, often it involves a site visit, so our trainers will go up and say, right, this is an ideal place for training. But to make it ideal, I need A, B, and C. You know, an extra scaffold tower, um, and then I need a classroom for the the, the, the theoretical side of things. And then the client will set it up, and then we do the training there. So we've done we've done a few courses like that, and we've done one not so long ago for Marion Roberts, one of the big construction sites, where we gave their technicians uh, training in work at height on their their uh, facility, and it's quite ideal because it's sort of the the practical um, application in the workplace is done on site because it's their workplace. So that's, that's how it goes about. Skyriders also plans to offer accredited confined space training in the near future. All the current training we offer is all the fall arrest. So it's fall arrest basic, fall arrest advanced, fall arrest rescue. And then we offer the uh, fall protection planners course, which is basically any construction site, any heavy industry um, has to have a fall protection plan as part of their safety planning. and. Uh, a person putting together the full protection plan needs to have a proper uh, uh, training and, and accreditation. Um, and that makes taking the medicals, the certification of the individuals working at height, the rescue procedures, the work procedures, um, all of that into a plan. So that training we offer. And then of course rope access level 1, 2 and 3. Level 1 is your very basic course. Um, you're basically off, off the street with zero um, experience. You just have to be comfortable at working at height. And then after a certain amount of hours, so I think it's 1,000 or 750, signed off by a level 3 supervisor, um, you're, uh, you've sort of gathered enough experience and exposure to be able to go and do your level course, level 2 course, sorry. Level 2 course is a lot more advanced, um, it's a lot longer course and there's also a practical and theoretical, or theoretical and practical side of the course. Um, and then from that, again, a number of hours, I think it's close to another 1,000, signed off logged hours by a level 3, um, then you're allowed to go and do your level 3 course. Level 3 course is, is, is 
very, very involved, theoretical side and, and the practical side. It's advanced rescues, advanced rigging. Um, you really need to be on top of your game as a rope access technician to be able to pass the new IWH Level 3 uh, qualification. Um, because those are the, according to construction regulations, the Level 3s are your, your supervisors. So it's a proper formal appointment according to construction regulations. And um, those guys take full responsibility for the teams working underneath them from a rescue rigging point of view and the safe work, safe work procedures. So they have to be top of the game. Um, so the training is, is very, very strict and the, um, the assessment's even, even harder to pass. So if you can get your IWH level 3 then you know, you know you, you, you're worth it and the company employing you, be it Skyriders or other, can have confidence that you, you're good at your job. Other news making headlines, Zest Work Group achieves level 2 BBBEE status. Zest Work Group has taken steps to create a broader based and more sustainable ownership foundation to ensure its compliance with the new BBBEE Code of Good Practice, which has seen the group achieve a level two status. We completed this, uh, this whole new initiative uh, during the month of August, and uh, going to market with the announcement is, is really a wonderful achievement in terms of uh, um, the, the hard work of what we've done to get back to achieving a level two in terms of uh, our BE status. Previously, we were at a level four, in terms of our BE status, but when government introduced the new codes of practice, um, we unfortunately fell back to a level eight, and uh, we realised that we needed to go back to the drawing board and, and seeing what needs to be done to regain our credentials in terms of our BE requirements. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.